Hi, welcome to Shop Talk with the Jailers. Today's topic for the discussion is how to hack wrapping your hair at home. While I'm waiting, I'll be getting a few of my items together so it'll be easy to kind of show you how to wrap at home. So I know for some, wrapping is easy and it's really hard to do. So I want to show you a couple of ways that you can hack wrapping your hair at the house. Doing a, di a couple of different de techniques. I think I'll, I'll probably show you one or two. So to start with, I'm gonna give you a couple of possibilities of things that you may need. One, you may need a wide brush, which is called a paddle brush. Depending on the thickness or density of your hair, you may need a wide. Some could use either hair pins or bobby pins. Today I'll be using duckbill clips, which is kind of sort of like so. Can you see that? They open up like like this. I'll be using duckbill clips, and I'll be using a wrap cap. Currently, I have my hair in this kind of whimsical pinup, which is sometimes what I do when I don't feel like doing anything at all. For some, you probably noticed that I have done some color, and yes, I'm preparing for the spring, and so I wanted some some color that will pop. As you see, I've done a blight, a, excuse me, a blight, a bright blonde streak through the front. Gave myself some copper highlights to accent that bright blonde streak. And I'm actually loving it. I love the way it turned out. You see the depth. And I kind of like the, um, what is it called? From the Dalmatians, I can't think of her name. I kind of wanted that little feel in the front. So that's why you see it so bright towards the front. And look how pretty it is when I hold it up against my hair. Like, I love it. I love it. I've really been loving my color. Really, really loving it. And I normally do it from time to time. This time I waited a little longer. Um, I'm not necessarily one of those girls who like to get color and then apply it back to back. I normally give myself time for my color to grow out. I know that a lot of people don't like that. So nine times out of 10, when it gets to a certain length, um, they'll go back and reapply. I like to get my, um, to do what I call a hair check and um, see the health and see how my hair is doing before I keep re-adding color. So, to be honest, it took me a couple of years and I let my color completely grow all the way out before I went in and added anymore. But like I said, I'm loving it. And I only done it to the front, but it's so cool because even when I go to the back, it still showcases kind of throughout my hair, you know? So, okay, that's not what this video is about. So I just wanted to show it to you. So just in case you look, you're like, wait a minute, she does something different. I did. I added just some highlights to the front. Okay, again, we're talking about wrapping. So, I normally teach my customers what I call a pie method when it comes to wrapping, right? So, I'm combing all of the hair down. And in my case, my hair doesn't normally, um, it depends on your length, your density and thickness to whether it does. But whenever I wrap my hair, normally I'm not looking for um, a bump because my hair normally does not do that bump for me because my hair, um, I guess because it's so lengthy, it just... It is straight and that's all I'm looking for is for it to be straight and manageable so when I wake up in the morning I don't have to worry about it being all over the place um, so I'm going to start like a pie method and I'm gonna you know how if you for Thanksgiving and Christmas we have all those nice sweet potato pies or apple pies on the table and I know you're like oh my gosh the one are you gonna relate here to food yes <laughs> So I'm gonna do like a pie method, but before that, I take and do a little teeny part right here in the middle, like so. Can you see that part? Not very long, about an inch long. And then I do the pie method. In that pie method, I simply grab a slice for my pie. That's my first slice, right? And I take and I wrap this around. I go ahead and start wrapping this around. See? And so once I wrap this around the bag, I kind of got this out of my way. And I'm, I'm on to the next piece. Okay? So now, once I take that first piece, that first slice, and I take the rest of it and I go all the way around my head, I take another slice of the piece of pie. And I take that piece and I wrap it all the way around. 
see like so and then I take another piece and I take and I wrap it around like so yes I see this little hump here just in case you're concerned but I'm not really that pressed on that hump and I'll tell you why in just a few minutes so I'm gonna slice another piece of the pie now I can't see how I'm slicing so I have to guesstimate I've sliced it anyway um, and then I'm only left um, with this chunk left and so um, I go around I pick that last piece up and I continue around into the circular motion and if pieces start to fall I don't get that frazzled about it. I just kind of grab a clip and I clip it on. Secure it down. And in that case, it only took me two. I know you see that piece standing up. I'm still not concerned. I'm not frazzled about that and I'll tell you why. But first, before I tell you that, I'm gonna go ahead and secure the rest of my wrap down. Up with my nice little wrap cap. <laughs> Available at DJ Lewis for only $10. Okay, and so now I'll go back up under and I'll take those duck wheel clips out because for me, I don't sleep well with them. I, li I like to sleep with nothing in my hand, right? So, it's done. It's wrapped. I know, you still see that piece. Dewana, but what about that piece sticking up in the top? The reason why I don't get frazzled about that piece is because I love body in my hair, right? And anytime that I don't get a perfect wrap, it just makes, it ensures that I have this body. I don't necessarily like hair that doesn't necessarily, when, when it's straight, that it doesn't have movement. I love for it to have movement and body. So when I leave that little piece up there, it just, it just creates that extra movement and body and flow for me. So now, on top of this, if you want, you can add um, the black bonnets and it'll hold this down perfectly and you can sleep well at night. Again, I told you I would show you a couple of ways. So that was one. That was with the wide tooth comb. And so I'm simply going to comb it down. I know, right? That color is so pretty. I know, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. I'm loving it. And like so, my wrap is down. And... It's not parted where I would normally part it or like it to part it, my part to be, but nevertheless, you get the concept. So that was with the wide tooth comb. Now, the same concept is so if you use a paddle brush. Um, for me, I don't normally use a paddle brush, but I may use it sometime when I'm doing a client, depending on the thickness and um, texture of the hair. So I would do the same concept. I would grab a piece of the pie and start to wrap. So what I'm doing is actually sending my hair in the, all of the direction that I want it to go. So I pull it all the way to this side. Why? Because whenever I start parting, I want to only be left with what's dangling on this side. So since I've already brushed this all the way around, this is the only part that I'm really concerned about wrapping now because it's, the rest of it has already come around in, this, in kind of a half moon circle that I want. So next piece. Again, you're just slicing a piece of the pie. I slice another piece and I wrap it like so. I'm not concerned again about perfection because again, when I have that extra pieces that didn't just perfectly go into my wrap, it just adds some body to my hair, that's all. See, look how easy that is. And now all of us, all of this is wrapped around. Now again, if you're super concerned and you're like, well, Dewana, I'm one of those girls that I like my wrap to be tight. I don't want any of these pieces um, sticking up. Then simply come around, take a duck bill clip, clip it out. See how simple that is? You're just sliding those duck bill clips in that top where you broke that little piece off like I showed you in the first illustration. You're laying it down. And if there's any flyaways, you simply do the same thing. I'm kind of cool with it right now. And I'm going to take my wrap cap. And I'm going to wrap it like so. And hold on, let me show you one more thing.
And to make sure that it's secure, you simply can grab a bonnet, slip it over the top like so. And now you kind of know what I look like when I go to bed at night. <laughs> and that way you don't have to worry about any of your hair being out, left out. It's all tied up. So that would be another way to wrap it. That's with the paddle brush. So I'm gonna take this down and the same concept. I'm gonna unwrap it with the paddle brush the same way that I wrapped it with the paddle brush. So I'm gonna take all of this down. Being careful um, to not get any of your strands look left between that W clip. Sometimes pulling them out, you have to be careful because they'll grab a piece of your, your hair. And you know, some people say, whenever I'm doing it, it's okay to want to just snatch it, it's just hair. No, it's not. It's not just hair. It's every strand of your hair matters. So I don't want to take and break a piece trying to take a duck duck clip off. So be careful taking your duck duck clip off. And I said I was gonna take it loose with my brush. And I was oh, almost gonna do it with my fingers. And so I'm taking it loose like so. And as you see. And you probably hear my, my grandbaby in the background because he's so ready for me to finish this video so he can get up and run and he can tear up the salon. I kind of think I want my part back on this side. And it's unwrapped. Okay? So now, just in case you're one who would rather, my earring fell out. If you're um, one who would rather wrap it with a comb, I'll also show you from a comb, uh, all purpose. So whether you want to wrap it with a paddle brush, a wide tooth comb, or you're one of, one of those who would prefer to use an all purpose, it's the same concept. Just taking a small piece, wrapping it around, then taking small pieces of your pie, and then going around into a circle. See how that's staying? You take another piece of the pie, same concept and you wrap another piece of the pie and you wrap. going in a circular motion and again I'm not not necessarily so concerned about the top because I, I love to create body so if that top doesn't get flat that's not what I'm looking for I just want the edges to be wrapped neatly around and again I will do the same concept if any fail don't get too frustrated with it it's okay just take either a bobby pin or a duckbill clip and clip it and hold it till I secured it the way I want it to be secured and I wrap it again with the wrap cap. And again, because I don't sleep comfortably, comfortably well with those duckbill clips, I would just tight with the wrap in the beginning. I would have it loose enough where I could go in and snatch those duckbill clips off, retighten and voila right and again I don't worry too much about the top because again I know I'm just sounding redundant but I love to create bodies so I just don't want you to get frustrated and I know that sometimes that's what my customers get frustrated about is like the one I can't get the top to lay down or I can't get it to wrap so quickly like you do so is one consistency like I wrap my hair consistently I never go to bed at night without my hair tied up or um, my hair in some way that I can um, keep it from the elements while I sleep, whether it be just the wallowing of my pillow or whether it be um, that it gets caught. Because my hair, in, in, in my case, my hair is so long that if I, when I sleep, that it, sometimes it can get caught. And the next thing you know, I'm feeling this whole pulling. And that when that pulls like that, sometimes it can snatch or break my hair. So I don't want that to happen while I sleep. So I spend time making sure that it's tied up. So again, one of the biggest keys to learning how to effectively wrap your hair is consistency. Is doing it even when you don't feel like it. Because here's the catch. If you do it when you don't feel like it, um, before you know it, it will be so easy. It will be like second nature to wrap it. That your hair will wrap so easily that every time you turn around, it takes you like two or three steps not even minutes like two or three seconds to wrap it like it really doesn't take long once you learn the technique that is comfortable 
for you, right? That's why I try to show you three different techniques that may work for you. But um, just whatever you do, protect that hair at night when you go to sleep so that when you don't sleep on it and wallow in it at night and, and break it just by moving back and forth throughout the pillow. Because some have a satin pillowcase and some don't. But if you tie it up with a wrap cap and then go on top with something that's satin, then you're protecting your hair while you sleep. And I want to make sure I show it to you. And I think they sell these like at your local family dollar. And then again, DJ will sell the hair so long you can pick up your wrap cap here. But um, simply put, don't go to sleep without wrapping your hair. Take care of your hair and your hair will take care of you. I always say one of my mottos at DJ Lewis Healthy Hair Salon is hair is your glory and it's up to you and I to take care of it. Hair was meant to last you a lifetime. If you don't do what you need to do today to take care of your hair, then don't look forward to be there tomorrow when you're absolutely in need of it. One of the greatest things that I see um, is when I pass an older lady and she's in her 70s and she still has this beautiful head of hair whether it's silver or whether she's coloring it i absolutely love to see a lady that's in her mid-age or elderly age and she still has a head full of hair and it just lets me know that truly hair is meant to last your lifetime so we have to be careful with the things that we do to it so that when we get to that age we still have a head of beautiful hair that's my goal for you and that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Dewana, owner of DJ Lewis Healthy Hair Salon. And if you're ever in need of someone to take care of your hair, I'm your girl. Holla at me. Um, our number is 910 And that, again, that's DJ Lewis Healthy Hair Salon. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.